Hello everyone. Today we are going to learn how we can set up a Linksys ADSL modem. The model type is WAG354G. The instruction is simple. Of course, we've learned from old videos how to set up an ADSL connection. I will uh, put in the comment uh, a link for further the explanation on how to set up the ADSL connection okay well this is the modem that we are going to work uh, in front of the modem you see this okay here the line we need to connect the phone cable to the line and uh, connect your laptop to one of these four sockets or if you don't want to connect uh, through a network cable to your laptop, uh, you can connect to this modem through wireless. How? Uh, in the back of the machine, there is a, there is an attached label. This attached label, it carries the name of your Wi-Fi and the password, okay? Look behind it. There's an attached label. There is uh, some information in the attached label the model number serial number and the ssid wi-fi name is the name of your wireless and the key password is the key that you need to put in order to connect to the modem through wireless okay so let's start uh, after we do all the setup needed we open the internet explorer and we put 192.168.1.1 let us check sorry we need to put 192.168.1 0.1 when we press enter we will have a small window will pop up it will ask for username and password okay username and password the username should be admin and the password should be admin and you click ok when you click ok this page will come out to you okay uh, first of all you look at the encapsulation encapsulation it should be triple poe for the adsl connection Okay, multiplexing LLC. Sometimes uh, in other countries uh, uh, or other service providers, they might ask for VC. So therefore, uh, let me tell you what information you need to ask from your service provider. You need to ask to send them an email or to call them by phone and ask them, should I put LLC or VC? Also, you need to ask what is your VPI value and VCI values, okay? Also, you need to ask them about your username and password, okay? You need those information and you need no one else to configure the modem. So let's continue. PPPoE, my connection is LLC. VPI, I already have it zero. VCI is 35, that's uh, the case from my own service provider. Service name, leave it blank, it's not important. Username is a username that provided from your service provider. Uh, you put it anything, of course don't put it anything, put the username that the service provider asked you. I will put anything from my own. And you put the password that the uh, service provider given to you. And then you click on save, okay? You click on save. After you click on save, uh, it gives not found because I'm using an emulator. But after you click save settings, you go to wireless. On the wireless, you need to write, what would you like to name your Wi-Fi? You say my ADSL home. Also, you need to put a password. I, and you click on safe settings after you click on safe settings you go to wireless security okay security mode it should not be disabled because anyone could uh, log in on your account on your connection and use it so you put pre-shared key or WEP I recommend the pre-shared key and you put the key you want it should consist from letters and numbers like A, B, C, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and you click save settings and you are done i hope you enjoy, 
you find my video helpful and if so please uh, subscribe to my channel so uh, you can see more videos uh, that could be also be helpful thank you very much